Yeah. Now, the Dublin Ukulele Collective, or the Ducks, is a 50-strong uh, band comprising members from three different ukulele groups. And uh, although she won't admit it, but all the rest of them, the other 49, say she is. Eileen Hassett is effectively the boss, or the one who cracks the whip, or the musical director, or the one who gets it all together. Eileen, you're very welcome. Good morning. Thank um, you. Three different groups. You got together how and why? Um, we got together because basically this time last year we were on Grafton Street and we were all in different... We, we, we help each other with our Christmas busks, which we sing for charity. Yeah. And we were all in different keys, different arrangements. And so now we have one single Christmas book. Um, so you were the one who said, ah, here lads, let's all get on the same we're page. We all over the shop. Yeah. It wasn't quite. It was, we were doing a lot of charity stuff and I said, um, we'll try and get a proper gig. And we didn't think we'd get it, but we pitched Electric Picnic and next thing we got it. And you played a stormer. Yeah, yeah, it was our first gig ever as Ducks, do you know? And so. not alone did you play a Stormer, but they booked you back again. For two gigs next year. For two yeah. gigs next year. Yeah, yeah. Now, um, this morning is only the second time you've played together live as a collective, is that right? That's right, yeah, yeah. OK, so we're very honoured. Now, the reason we're having you on is, is A, because you're brilliant, and we've already had two demonstrations of that in rehearsal, and it really is quite moving. Oh. Even the old cynics in, t in television were all a bit surprised. We're all kind of going, oh, that's lovely, it's very christmas Eve. But also you do, uh, all of your gigs are basically busks for charity. Yeah. And you've got your busiest season now. So tomorrow, is it, that uh, you're doing? Peter McFerry Trust, Blackrock Shopping Centre, uh, 12 to 2. OK. Yeah, that's uh, Saturday. That's organised by the Dunleary Group. And then you, you also, you're also doing stuff for the Samaritans? Yeah, the Samaritans the following Saturday, Grafton Street as well, 12 to 12.30 to 2, I think, or 1.30. And then we're doing National League of the Blind outside the GPO from 3 to 4. OK, and... Uh, Anybody, oh, Simon Community, and also you're doing stuff for uh, Our Lady's Hospice and Howard's Cross as well. We do that every month. We go every and month? Sing. Yeah, we do that once a month. We have a residency there, kind of. Yeah, it's wonderful. Now, you're going to do a Christmas song for us here as well, right? But uh, your, your closer or your finale at Electric Picnic was Psycho Killer by... Well, well actually, it was <laughs> a razor. Heads. No, it was a oh, razor. Was it? All right, OK. Yeah, and, but Psycho Killer is one of our set list, and uh, we didn't have an encore because we didn't, we'd, we'd never had an encore before. It was the first gig, like so. Um, they they all wanted an encore, and uh, well, Psycho yeah. Killer would have been perfect. Didn't we it? did Psycho Killer, but again, the yeah. set list is amazing because right? you do Pink Floyd, you do Erasure. Yeah, we do a kind of like Leonard Cohen. Leonard Cohen, Leonard Cohen, Leonard Cohen on ukulele. Yeah. Actually, which one? Um, we do So Long, Marianne. All right, okay, yeah. yeah. OK, well, listen, you're going to play us out with, I suppose, what, what the most Christmassy of Christmas songs is Oh Holy Night. Yep. And if you want to see this, and trust me, uh, can I honestly say this? And, like, I've been around music pr pretty much all my life. Very rarely have I heard the kind of power that you're going to hear now. So I hope you get it through the power of the telly. Eileen Hassett, take it away. The Dublin Ukulele Collective.
These Ariel 3-in-1 pods